Hi everybody, welcome back to Fiscal Friday. This is Best Buyers with a Generation Empowered. Football playoffs are underway. Let's go Seahawks! But there's one game not televised. It's the matchup between our home team, Social Security, and our rivals, the Ponzi Scheme. Kicking off, we have Social Security. Designed in 1935, the program was supposed to pay retirement benefits for workers. The opposing Ponzi Scheme is an investment fraud. Their play? Paying returns to existing investors by funds contributed by new investors. Oh no. It appears home team social security has some division between baby boomers and millennials. The boomers' returns are currently being paid by millennials. In the second quarter, we've got social security's declining players. When the game started, there were nine workers for every one recipient. Today, it's almost two to one. Ooh, we're going down. Politicians and players worry. Who will carry this team down the road? We're back after halftime. It appears after 1960, Congress began raiding Social Security's trust fund to a tune of $2.6 trillion. Funds were immediately spent on current beneficiaries. The Ponzi scheme calls this play pay as you go. In Social Security's defense, their game plan and finances are available for all to see. Ponzi scheme keeps their playbook hidden until people catch on. What do you mean the trust fund's gonna be empty by 2033? Fourth quarter, here we go. In order for Social Security to stay in the game, benefits paid to recipients after 2033 will be slashed 25%. That's a bad contract. In 1960, the Supreme Court ruled in Fleming v. Nestor, entitlement to Social Security benefits are not a contractual right. That's a flag. According to the refs, if a private firm altered the terms of your retirement, they'd be prosecuted. Defenders of Social Security claim the difference is voluntary. Ponzi schemes require voluntary participation. Social Security is required. Therefore, it's not a Ponzi scheme. Ooh, and a hard tackle for that defensive argument. The losers in this game are taxpayers, notably millennials, who are forced to play regardless of loss. Social Security needs a new plan because our future is being tackled. This is Best Buyers, making plays. And remember, it's your generation and you're empowered. Y'all ready for this? <laughs>